It's one of the last holy sites in Western Africa, still preserved today. The ocean sacred grove. For the Yoruba people, it's a place of worship and wonder. The river which runs through the forest is called Oshun and is revered as the goddess of fertility. We bring gifts to her and she, bring, she then will reward us. Those who believe they are looking for a baby, for instance, um, maybe infertility, but our belief is that Oshun can break through and ensure that one has a baby. The ancient forest at the heart of traditional Yoruba culture is also fertile ground for contemporary art. Dozens of statues and shrines honoring the gods have been created by Austrian artist Suzanne Wenger. She spent more than half a century immersed in local lore, living in this house in Okshoba with her adopted children. She died in January at the age of 93. She did a lot because uh, she let the natural, the natural, she let the naturality of the place stay intact without destruction, without pollution. Now the Yoruba continue to honor the artist with a celebration of music and chanting. When an elderly person died in Yoruba land, we never count it as a loss. Ocean Sacred Grove is now recognized by UNESCO as a World Heritage Site. Wenger may be gone, but in this landscape, her legacy lives on. <laughs>